Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Welcome to this episode of Off the Walls Barbecue and More. Uh, I changed the name to and more because uh, in the middle of this pandemic, uh, meat and everything's getting hard to come by. Go to the store, you can't find ribs, no briskets, pork butts. Uh, you find a little chicken here and there, but who, who, who wants to watch a bunch of videos of doing chicken? So I started branching out and built my chicken coop and figured I would make a videos of that and some other things, being I'm kind of handy with the tools. So uh, today we're going to show off my chicken breeder. Y'all check it out. All right. I was going to use this tote right here, uh, but then I got 15 chicks. My order form says 17, so that didn't look like it was going to be big enough. So I went to Wally World, and they hooked me up with this big old box. Uh, I made this PVC pipe hanger for my lamp. Uh, I had a half inch PVC, uh, one foot on each piece of T, three foot, four foot piece across the top, same thing on the other side. And we got my heat lamp in there. And this is a heat lamp, not a, not the red bulb. It's just a ceramic heat bulb. My feeder there. And my water over here. And I've got the light hooked to this little gadget right here. It's called an ink bird. And this is my set temperature here. And this is the actual temperature of inside on the probe. Uh, I got it set for 95 and you see it's 95 degrees. And uh, you see the little probe right down here. Here's a little probe that'll just stay right down in there with the little chickens. And when that thing drops two degrees below 95, it kicks right back on. And keep it, and that way I don't have to worry about fire, electrical shorting out or anything like that. And uh, I lined my brooder with plastic, and then I put some newspaper down and then pine shavings. That way in a week when I have to clean it, I just grab all four corners and I can get the bulk of everything out. Uh, so that's going to be it. Um, I couldn't figure out a good way to prop the water bottle, water, water jug I made up. So I just got a 2x4 here, some chain, and I hung it up. I think it's high enough. I'm going to go get my chickens Wednesday. So if I need to lower it down an inch, I can lower it down, or I can build up some pine shavings underneath of it to get them to it. Then I got the big feeder here. I already put the food in it, ready to go. And then there's all the food. I'm going to keep it in this thing right here, food grade barrel and yeah that's gonna be my my brooder set up for the next two weeks and then it's pretty warm outside it has been pretty warm anyway so i'll probably take them outside in about a week um may hook the lamp up outside in the in their in their coop give them a little extra heat just in case you know they ain't got all they ain't got all their feathers and it does have a little cold snap but yeah pretty basic I might get two or three uses out of this box and I throw it away, but the good thing it is, it's free. I can get another one at Walmart, just go burn the ass for it, and I'll give you one. All right, there we go. It dropped down a couple degrees below 95. So you see the little red light come back on that says heating. And now it's going to go back up to 95. I may set this bottom one for like 97, 98, so it don't never get below 95 in there um, for the first week or so. And this is a dual purpose. You can set this in a cooler old refrigerator and it has a cooling and heating um, and then you just set your temperature if you want it to be 35 or 36 degrees or whatever you just set your temperature and that's what it'll get it to but i may being i only got a 150 watt bulb it takes it a minute to come up to temperature so i may drop my light down about another inch or so just to get it to where it comes up to, it comes back up to temperature faster because i've got it up there a little bit a little bit of ways but it's only 150 watt heating element I didn't realize I had 250 watts when I bought this one, or I would have bought a 250 watt one. But I'm gonna see how long it takes to get up there. If it don't take but a minute or two, I may just up it to, to 99 degrees. That way it drops down to 96, boom, it'll kick it back on, or keep it 98, drop down to 97, it'll, or 96, it'll kick it back on. And I'm over here in the bedroom, and I'm gonna check my temperature on my brooder. Just pull up my app. And it says 95.2. I time, went ahead and set it up for, for uh, 98 that way uh, it would have to drop to 95 before it uh, uh, and then it would kick back on because it drops after it drops three degrees it kicks back up but that's the good thing about this one's Wi-Fi so no matter where I'm at I can check the temperature and make sure my heat's on all right I set it for 98 uh, the temperature went up so the, the little red light went off uh, when this number up here drops to 95 this little red light will kick back on and say heating and, and turn the lamp back on uh, it went up to 98.6, I guess, because of the residual heat. Uh, but I did lower the lamp down about an inch. 
Uh, I wanted to have them, you know, plenty of room. I still got, you know, 15, 16 inches underneath of there. But I didn't want it to take forever for them to heat up, so. I don't know how long it'll take for that thing to cool off. So, but I'll bring you back when it does. All right, it's dropping pretty quick now with that light off. So we'll see when it hits about 95, it should kick that light on. I thought I set it for two degrees, but it may still be factory reset on three. Three degrees is okay. But it was, uh, I thought about buying one of them brooder plates, but I just like to set up here better. And there it kicked on at 95.9. It kicked back on. Now it'll still continue to drop a little bit till the bulb heats up. That's why I lowered it down so it wouldn't take so long for the bulb to heat up. Like I said, it's only 150 watt. Uh, next time I reorder some, I'll make sure that I get the 250 watts. All right, everybody. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, check out this video of my chicken brooder. Uh, y'all stick around, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. Uh, my next project's going to be I may cook something. But I've got a, a plans for a 12 by 12 shed out, out back with a lean-to. So y'all stick around, and I appreciate everybody for watching. Y'all have a good night.